Hey everyone, this is Johnny FD. I want to show you around my new apartment that I'm renting for $450 a month, right in the city center of Chiang Mai. Let's check it out. So the actual location is on the west gate, about a 10 minute walk from the city center and a 10 minute walk from Neiman Haven. All right, so this is the lobby of my condo. And right over here, we actually have biometrics to get in. And that unlocks. Let's take the elevator up to my floor. So this is the tour of my new apartment. I really like that just wide open, there's a nice little dining area, wood floors. There's the bedroom on the right. Let's take a look at the living room first. I love these floor to ceiling windows, this little couch sitting area. I think when I saw this corner unit with these huge windows, this is what sold me on the place. It made me just instantly want to come in. And let me just show you guys outside. You can see the view. And it's super quiet. There's green everywhere. You can see the mountains in the background. Right now it's super clear because of the end of rainy season. And right there, it's maybe a five or 10 minute walk is the old city. The airport is just right over there. It's a 10 minute drive, so really easy. And another 10 minute walk that way is Neiman Haman, which is the street with all the coffee shops, the co-working spaces and all this cool stuff. So we have a nice balcony out here. Right when you walk in, you have a huge TV, which is great for watching Netflix. Here's a sitting area on this side. It's just really beautiful. I mean, I'm probably gonna spend so much time just sitting here, to be honest, with my feet up, and just hanging out, watching TV, watching Netflix, reading some books, playing some board games. So some of these came with the place. You have Life Changes Quick, which is my second book, The Co-Living Code by Christine McDaniel, who spoke the most recent Nomad Summit, and A Morning Mindset by Alexandria, who helped host this year's summit. You have Date with Destiny's Manual by Tony Robbins, some board games, Exploding Kittens, Catan, Risk. And let's take a look at the kitchen. So we have a kind of a mid-size fridge, which is completely fine. Nice tea collection that I brought from Trader Joe's. Pumpkin spice, some pomegranate white tea. And we have some nice uh, German Sassoon and Caramel tea, some nice Rubos honey bush, some NTC oil to make some brew brew coffee, some more tea here, some spice chai, some nice cacao, vanilla bean powder, I think it's stevia. So if you notice, I bring a lot of kind of nice things from home. It's because you can buy pretty much everything in Thailand but sometimes it's nice to have taste from home. So here's a washing machine, a kettle, we have a microwave, and here's just a two burner stove over here. Now let's take a look at the bedroom. Again, we have these kind of huge windows. It's quiet, it overlooks everything. We have a nice desk area here some of the supplements that I brought with me. Vitamin D3, some melatonin to get over jet lag and sleep, and some ZMA, which is a natural testosterone builder. It also helps you sleep. Nice big bed. Another TV, which is nice if you wanna kind of just cuddle in bed and watch a movie. And you can see again, this view goes from basically floor to ceiling, which is really nice. Imagine waking up to this in the mountains and how quiet and just nice this place is. So it's a one bedroom, one bath. Let me show you the bathroom just here to the left. So you have a standard kind of Western bathroom. Hey guys, you can probably see me in the mirror. And again, I brought some things with me, some face wash, some nice soaps, my Dr. Bronner's. And if I switch on the light here, oops. You can see nice glass shower, 
standard hot water shower. Okay. So once again, not a huge place. It's only 45 square meters, which in the U.S. might be even considered a tiny home at 485 square feet. But it is super comfortable. It has everything that you would want or that you would need. And the design of the place just makes it so it just feels a lot bigger than it is with the big windows, kind of this cozy TV nook over here, this super efficient kitchen, having everything be wide open. I just love the design. And unfortunately, a lot of places in Chiang Mai have terrible designs. Places like the Mimano, the Palm Springs, they spent millions of dollars building up these places and the layout is just terrible where it might be even be bigger, but it feels half the size. So make sure you find a place that has a good floor plan that you would feel comfortable living in, that you feel cozy in. The Danish have a word for it. I can't pronounce it, but remember that feeling. And remember, to, you know, if you're coming from the US or Sweden or Australia, wherever you're from, bring some kind of things from home that you'll miss. It makes you feel much more cozy when you're here. By the way, I have a lot more stuff that I didn't even show you guys. We have some nice dark chocolates, covered espresso beans, covered ginger, peanut butter cups, coconut chips, almonds, some cheese bites, bunch of dark chocolate, some uh, seasonings, and that is it. All right, so that's it for my actual apartment, but let me show you some of the other amenities between the gym and the pool here. All right, so right over here, we have the gym with a couple of kind of machines and there's a sit-up bench. And there's technically a weight rack, but to be honest, I wish they had a pull-up bar or some free weights or something. It's not much of a gym, but at least it's something. The good news. However, the pool actually is usable. It's a nice big pool. So unlike the pools in Bali that just look good on paper for a photograph, this is actually a pretty big deep pool. So I'm gonna be swimming in here. And there's also a sauna, which is super awesome. And it's actually big enough for a few people. Here we go. All right, so before I wrap this video, I just want to explain why I chose this place and why I'm not staying the same places that I stayed last time. And honestly, I think I found the best condo. It's called the Siri Condo, and I loved it. It's right in the city center. It's right in the Neiman area. Great layouts, great staff. The room you know, that I really liked had big floor to sling windows, and everything kind of just works well. They have free weights in the room. They have a nice pool, great location. It's amazing. The problem is, as more and more foreigners like us kind of stay there, we keep driving the prices up. And the thing is, there are actually hundreds of these apartment buildings in Chiang Mai. The problem is people always like find out about the few that you know people like me stay at, and they're like, oh, that's a great place. Let's not do any research. Let's just go stay where Johnny's staying. And the prices end up just getting, sky, you know, just skyrocket up, especially because when people want to stay for a month or two months, the prices are always higher than if you were gonna stay for you know six months or a year. So that's why let's really try not to just go where everyone else is going. I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to find great apartment buildings like this that are still at a great price. So for here, it's 15,000 baht a month because I'm saying for four months. Uh, if, you, if I wanted to stay six months or a year, it'd actually be a little bit less. I think it'd be 14,000 or even 13,000 if I stayed a year, which is actually really cheap for a 45 square square meter room, uh, which is 468 square feet. Not a huge place, but pretty good size. Uh, the location is really good. Uh, this is kind of just off Neiman, so it's maybe a five or 10 minute walk to Neiman Heyman, but just the next neighborhood over. Uh, there's a lot of little neighborhoods like this, like Santu Tam, this place is kind of near Central Festival. Uh, but what I want you to do is I want you to go to my blog, johnnyfd.com, and look for Johnny's Guide to Chiang Mai. It's completely free. It gives you so much information about all the neighborhoods, everything you want to know before you come to Chiang Mai. I found this one on Perfect Homes, so check them out. Uh, there's also Nomad Rental, I believe. It's, uh, it's all listed in the guide. It's in the description below, so make sure you read it. Uh, but this is the, the trick, is don't just go wherever else is going find these great deals. The only reason why I was able to get this place for a great deal uh, is because it was sitting empty for a few months and 
the lady who owns it was like, yeah, sure. I'll give you the six month price for four months because it's better than it being empty. Uh, so get on it, figure out what you like, what makes you happy. For me, it's a big floor to ceiling windows. I want a washing machine. I want to have a bit, nice TV and I like having a pool for you. You might not care about the pool or the sauna or even the TV, so you could pay a lot less. There's actually a ton of units for way less money. Uh, there's a place that I stayed at for 6,500 baht. That's right in Neiman that I loved. It's right behind Pun Space. I have an apartment video there called my $250 a month apartment. Uh, I think it went up a little bit because of all the nomads who keep going to that same spot. So stop going to the same spot. But there are a ton of these places all around Chiang Mai. This is what I love about Chiang Mai. Nowhere else in the world can you just show up and get set up within two days of buying a motorbike, getting set up with a nice apartment, you know, having super high speed, 100 megabyte down, 40 megabyte up Wi-Fi for $18 a month, no contracts. This is what I love about Chiang Mai. This is why it's such a great digital nomad hotspot. Make sure you guys come out for the next Nomad Summit. Go to nomadsummit.com, it's every January here in Chiang Mai. Uh, or if you just wanna come out, hang out, check out the scene, check out my blog, johnnyft.com. And I hope to see you somewhere in Chiang Mai. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below, but make sure you read that guide as a ton of info. See you guys.